really, I think the credit goes to whoever. I, I think it was um, Bud. Bud. I mean, for me, he he's the one who made that play. I think, you know, at that point, I just ran up there and got the ball. It was, it was a pretty easy interception. I didn't have to do much. You know what I mean? It was, uh, it was a great rush. Yeah, I mean, I think their run does a good job setting up deeper play action shots. And um, a lot of those, you know, those passes down the field, they're difficult to defend. I think we've seen just from watching tape of them, um, that's how they've won a lot of their games. So I think um, just overall as a defense, we did a good job, Ben, but not breaking. That big play, the first play of the game was Taylor, uh, where you kind of got out. That was me, yeah. Pain, yeah. How much did guys tell you to just keep playing and make something good happen at the end? Yeah, I mean, it's such a long game, and that's that's something I'm starting to understand is like settling into the game early. You know what I mean? I think, you know, usually I'll go out there and it'll take me a couple plays to settle in. Well, I can't, you know, I'm not afforded that. Um, you know, so I, that's something I think that's an easy fix for me, and that's something that won't happen again. What does it say about this team with the overtime battles that you've been in this year, um, winning two out of the three? I feel like we're just tough. Um, I think that goes, you know, from the front office all the way down to the players. Um, you know, there's ups and downs throughout the game, but at the end of the day, you know, we pride ourselves on physicality and, and finishing longer than the guy with the ball and, and um, you know, full, going full tilt to the tackle. How much do you guys need to kind of keep that, you know, keep the foot on the gas, kind of keep that killer instinct? You've got a three-game lead now in the division, but obviously a long way to go. What does the attitude have to be moving forward? Oh, yeah, 100%. We can't. You know, we can't be complacent. I, I don't – I mean, I know I'm not going to be complacent. And, and, you know, speaking for my teammates, I don't see that happening. Um, but, you know, that, that you know stuff like that tends to happen when um, you start stringing along a couple wins. Like, if you're not mindful of it, then it will happen. But we're, we're pretty mindful of it. Yeah. I think it's I think it's a tremendous test, and after the interception, first of all, I got the wind knocked out of me, so I couldn't celebrate. But then the other thing that was going through my mind was just like the game's not over; anything could happen. And sure enough, um, like the worst case scenario of that situation did happen. Um, but we still need to go out there and play football. So um, I think just staying staying neutral, not getting too high or too low. Uh, I think that's toughness for us. That's a good question. I feel like, um, firstly, like we've we've experienced a couple of losses already, and it doesn't feel good. So obviously, we don't want that to happen again. Um, but just kind of like, I always told myself every every game is really like, what is going to take is everything I have, um, all you know, for sixty minutes and more if it goes into overtime. So like every 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 game I go out there and I, I give it everything I have no matter what, and then um, I know my brothers are doing the same. All right, thank you.